Okay, so let us continue with this. We have 10 minutes to go, all right? And within 10 minutes, we should be able to draw the development for this, all right? Uh, it's important to know that we don't need to rotate this because already one edge is on the horizontal plane. Please note that if an edge is not on the horizontal plane, you must rotate it. And to rotate it is simply draw an arc around equivalent to the radius. Similar to what we did in the last, in the last activity. <clears throat> now, to draw the development for this, <clears throat> we first draw an arc around here, all right? All right, uh, we need to know two things. This, this figure is six sides, right? And um, each side is 40 millimeters. If each side is 40 millimeters, then the perimeter or the distance around this figure would be six by 40, which is how much? Six by 40, which is 240. 460 is 24, so it's 240. So I'm gonna draw an arc of radius 240 millimeters. All right, so I'm gonna click here, go down to um, center start length, center start length, click that. And here is my center. Oh, I need to change to my hat to my um, construction line. For this, I'll be using my pink. My Me, pink. I do water pollution. So what I'm gonna do is um, I uh, find a cause. I take and then a solution. Okay, let's continue. So we click center, start, and length. So here is our center. We, here is our starting point. And we want our length to be 240, 240, enter, escape. Oh, I didn't, I didn't click, repeat. Specify the start point. Start point is here. No, escape. I need to space bar. I need to specify the center. C, enter. Specify the center, which is here. Specify the start point, which is here. Um, the length. Right, I'm going to click length down here because I want length and it will tell me how much I should let this be. So it's 240, enter, enter, all right? So what this does, this draw an arc of length 240 millimeters, all right? The next step is to divide this arc into six equal parts. So we go D, I, V, Enter, click the line, enter, number of segments, six, enter. I think this line is too pale. I'm gonna change this to something else. Uh, can I see this line, gentlemen? Is this line clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Continue. All right. My next step is to change now to my other, to, well, you, let's use this line L and we continue. Line from here to that. Space bar to reactivate here to there. Okay, so now that we have drawn the six radiating lines from the apex, it's now time for us to, this, this technique is very important. We are expected to put, draw a horizontal line across these points. Horizontal line across these points here. All right. So I'm gonna go to arc, no, line L, draw a line from here to there, enter. And I'm going to copy this line, CO, enter, specify that point, line, 
and so specify the base point. Base point is here. And I'm going to copy one to here, this point, <coughs> this point, and the other one is good. Escape. Now I want to trim off this excess. So I type TR, enter, select here as my cutting edge. Polyline, yes, enter. Then I use fence because I want this to be just one straight line going up. Enter, enter, and that trims off everything. Escape. Now it's time now for us to draw some arc around here. So for this, I'm gonna go back to this. Um, start, center, end. So I click this. So I specify my um, start point, which is here. Specify my center, which is here. Then I move this around until I feel like stopping. Click right there. Space bar to reactivate. Please note, you must engage the center first. So I type C for center, enter, click here, come down to this point, go around, enter. Space bar to reactivate, C for center, enter, picture a center, bring it down to this point, go around, click, space bar to reactivate, C for center, enter, click our center, Start point is here, and we draw our arc around like that. Click right here to stop. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We now need to label this, and um, the labeling is very, very important. Very, very important. Labeling is very important here. Um, but that I'm gonna change to my um my text layer. Uh, so I'm gonna change to point line point three, point two five, right? The next step is to, but I, I could, could, could copy these, could copy, click here, um, C, O, enter, specify the base point here, and um, one point you have in here, two, three, four, five, six, that's escape. No, I need to, here is, here is one, here is one, one is here. So we're gonna start cutting from here. So one is here, then two, click, two, one, two, three, then type three, go up here, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, text, we click four, then we go um, one, two, three, type five, then we click one, two, three, type six, and we go back to one. Where we start, we end, we end up, so we end up back at one, all right? So now the final step here is to is to um pretty much trace these, change to our um outline layer, change to our outline layer, and um right up that. So I'm going to my outline layer, outline, outline. Oh, outline is right here. And for some reason, my outline, I, let me, outline. Outline thickness here is, uh, yes, we said thickness is that. 